Alright, so I'm recording this video again for YouTube, and um, as you can see, I have an iPhone. It's original iPhone, and it's syncing right now. You can also tell right here, though, that the batteries look a little different. That's just one of the uh, applications I downloaded from Cydia. And let's just show you that it's an original iPhone, that it is unlocked. Here's the back, you know, normal iPhone, no 3G on there. A couple dings up right over there, but whatever. And also you'll see that it says thrice right there. That's my favorite band. But the actual uh, carrier I'm using is T-Mobile. So that's how that's done. And right now I'm installing some new apps and it should be done here in about a second. I installed about 30 new apps. It takes quite some time. Though uh, some of the ones I've been looking through and messing with like within the past couple hours or so after I unlocked it, I had a little bit of troubles um, updating I think it was uh, eBay's application. It wanted to update and then it would finish and not, you know, go through, I guess. And yeah, so I was having a little bit of problems there, but that's about it. And I think we're almost done here. So with all these apps on the phone, we'll see how it operates. Um, I didn't intentionally in install 30 or so apps. These just happened to be apps that I thought I might use or want to try or, you know, something of that nature. So here we go. It looks like it's done. Let's see. iPhone sync is complete. Okay to disconnect. We're not going to disconnect it. We're just going to leave it there. Mess with it from here. And um, there we go. Slide down lock. All right. So here's some of the applications I have. Um, again, I haven't messed with a lot of them yet. PayPal, Cellfire, um, Sports Tab, New York Times, We Dictionary, Twinkle, and Tweeterific. Uh, a Quran. I'm currently studying Arabic. Let's see what else. Tap Tap Revolution. I or Remote. I've used this one. Oh my gosh, this thing is great. All right. So what we're gonna do here? Earlier, it already connected to my library. We're just gonna go. Let's go down here to Albums, and we're gonna choose. What do you know? A Thrice album. So let's choose The Sky Is Falling. And immediately, there it is, playing through my iTunes. And we'll see here on my phone. I can turn up the volume, and this is all through the phone. It also moves the volume knob here. All right. So that is a that's an excellent excellent application, and uh, it even runs in the background, which is pretty good. Let's see, what else do we have here? Weatherbug. The only thing, one thing I didn't like about Weatherbug, I mean, it's pretty in depth with all the information they give you. I mean, they give you the wind, you know, the heat, humidity, dew point, everything like that. But you can only add three cities. That's it. Which is kind of disappointing. Um, because you would think such a premier app that was, you know, going and creating all this commotion would be able to do so much, you know. It does. It provides a big service. It does a lot of helpful things. Um, but it doesn't really give you, you know, more than three cities. I have family members in other parts of the country and I want to know what their weather's like, you know, in case I'm calling my grandma or whatnot and want to chit chat with her because that's all anybody talks to their grandma about anyway. Um, Jolt. Jolt is, I believe, yeah, I think this is what it is. Here we'll create, no, we're not going to create one now. But anyway, Jolt from what I remember, oh, i got to create an account. We'll wait and do that later. What I remember Jolt is, is um, I believe if you want to leave yourself like voice notes, you can do that. AOL Radio, it works all right earlier. I mean, I have a, f a strong Wi-Fi um, coming from my MacBook. I just stream it from my MacBook. And it worked earlier fine, but it started cutting out. Here's one thing I don't like about the iPhone. I'm going to look online to see if I can disable this. But anytime you use, uh, use an application and it wants to, you know, basically use the GPS technology in the new iPhone 3Gs, or it wants to, you know, pull out some information from this current iPhone, it has to ask you, would you let, you know, the application use your current location, which gets pretty annoying. Though it's not really a big deal, all you have to do is hit one button, but it is pretty gay. And uh, let's see, stations, oh, my favorites. Alright, so this is a radio station I frequently listen to, and let's see how long it takes to get going. Yeah, that's how you do, man. So, man, see, I'm not, I'm not too bad. This is Tom Michael show. If you're a single guy or if you're not a single guy, no matter what, you should try to listen to this show. Pretty good guy. Alright, let's see if we can stop this guy here real quick.
now playing. Stop. So that's pretty good. You, you basically you just open up the application, search for the city, search for the radio uh, station if you know it, and you can listen to it, which is pretty helpful. Madomi, um, Thrice is used to be on a pretty big label, and I don't really know how I like Madomi yet. I mean, you know, you can mess with it and you can sing and, you know, put it up to a speaker and have it guess the song. Some people say they've had a lot of success with it guessing the songs. Um, myself, not too much. Tap Tap Revenge, it's just like Tap Tap Revolution if you used it on the iPhone, the original iPhone. It's pretty good. Though, the only thing I liked better about Tap Tap Revolution is you could choose your own songs. This one, I don't know if you can yet. Let's see. New song video contest, one player, tutorials. Let's try download more tracks. Easy tracks, and uh, yeah, see, so you really can't choose tracks from your own video li or uh, music library, which kind of sucks. But let's play a little bit here. One player, easy tracks. Turn your see, and it limits you to what tracks you use. So this is by Nick Gallant. Turn yourself around, and here we are, just playing this game. Pretty cool. And it'll let, it'll let you know if you miss one. So, like, see, it'll tell you if you miss and it'll vibrate. Alright, so we're done with that. And, um, yeah, New York Times. This is another, another one I was kind of looking forward to. And, uh, let's see. I this is the first time I opened it, so I don't know what it's going to do. It's probably going to take a little longer to get everything going. But, uh, See what it, it's taking a while to load. I think I, I, I think I'm gonna wait on this app and you know mess with it later, so I don't waste video time here on YouTube. Um, what else do we have here? Toy Ripping. You report. I've used this once already uh, to report a nice traffic jam in the I-5 South in California. Um, basically, you send a picture in a small text to Fox News Channel, and it helps them out by you know getting news from around this country. Um, Yelp. Let's see. I think this locates you. See, again, here's the pop of whether, you know, I'd like to use a current location. It locates you and you can find certain stuff, uh, like restaurants, bars, you know, whatever. See, again, it's pretty gay. It comes up, not all the time, but pretty frequent. And, uh, we're just going to skip that for now. Writing pad. I think this is the one where you can, it's pretty much like notepad on the iPhone, but, um... I think you can write on it too, so let's try to make a new one. Alright, so you can type the test. T E S T. And then I think you can draw on it too. So I guess that just got the word Chan out of me. Or Clevin. I don't I don't even know how this works. Like I'm just kind of scribbling with my thumb. See what I can get. And it brings up words. How it does it, I don't know. Um, let's try this. Maybe it goes by whatever word you touch. Yeah, okay, so that's how it works. Basically, T-H-E, the, T, there, or three. It's a T-H-E-R-E. -E. Right. Yeah, so it's basically, it doesn't go by randomly, obviously. It goes by the words that you touch. Um, let's try another word here. Door. Yeah. So basically, that's what it does. Kind of cool. And let's see what else. Save Benji's. That's to help save money, like if you're buying something. Speech Cloud. Speech Cloud happens to be the. Um, I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but it happens to be basically like a voice dialer for the for the iPhone. And uh, yeah, this video wasn't really supposed to be, you know. Uh, applications video, but that's what it turned out to be. Came out pretty cool. Anyway, let me know if you like it. Leave a comment. Talk to you later. Bye.